Hey guys, Irina here to go over some quick, fun games that you can play at your parties without requiring prizes at all. I'm going to go over three quick games. Um, you can play them on the back of your catalog, inside the catalog, wherever they have empty space, whatever you want to do. Okay? So you're going to ask your guests to number one through three for the first game. This is called the chore game. In the first one, um, you're going to ask them to write down their name. The second thing is a chore that they hate to do the most and sh don't share it with anybody else. And then the third, a quick, brief description of why you hate to do the chore. Once they write all of that down, you're going to ask them to take their catalog and pass it to the right or left, whatever, and then have the person who has their catalog introduce them. So what I like to say is, okay, ladies, you're going to introduce the person whose catalog you have. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take your pen and I want you to scratch out the answer for number two, because that doesn't matter. We don't really care what their chore is. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to read this off and say, this is so-and-so, and she hates to have sex because... And you're going to read the reason for number three. Okay? Super simple and easy. We're going to start with you. And then it just goes from there. And as she goes, you want to, you know, this is Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? Great. And she hates to have sex because, and then they read off the reason. Now, I'll say she hates to have sex because the first time, but I make the guests say that other times and they like to change that around a bunch of them don't like to say the word sex so and she doesn't like to do it because or whatever it is but it's super fun super easy and simple when they give the reasons why they don't like to have sex go ahead and make a comment based off that reason so if it hurts her back you can say oh honey you need the sexy saddler or the fantastic swing and if uh it's smelly and icky you can say oh i have some fabulous spray for you Anything like that, just to make it super simple and easy for them. The second game, you're going to have people number from one through six. The first question is their name. The second one is how they know their hostess. Could be fact or fiction. The third is a famous celebrity. The fourth is your body part. The fifth is a, the celebrity's body part. And the sixth is a phrase that you say... That's very common. So, like, I particularly say fabulous all the time. So that's what I would write down in number six. Okay. After they do that, you're going to say, okay, now I know a lot of you know each other, but I don't know all of you, so I'm going to go around and just ask you a bunch of questions. So your name is Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you doing today? And how do you know our hostess, Sheila? Oh, you met her in jail. Excellent. And you and Sheila are going to go on vacation. And you are going to bring along a guest. So who are you going to bring along? Brad Pitt. Oh, I like Brad a lot. And you're going to, when you get to your room, put what? Your boobs mm, on Brad's stomach. Excellent. And he's going to say, oh, my. Fabulous. And you're just going to go from person to person to person and read that off. It's fun. It's quick. It's simple and it's hysterical, okay? And just remember that as you're playing these games to use your guest's name while you're talking to her. So Mary, that sounds like so much fun. And Mary, you're going to put what body part on his body part or whatever it is. What's super funny is when the celebrity is a female and the woman is obviously straight, that makes it even more fun. And the last game is a great game to play with a group of people or even a small number of people because it allows you to put people in groups. So if there's a lot of people, like over eight or ten people, I would go ahead and pair them up or do like three and three and three, however you want to do. So it works for a lot of people, especially if you don't have a lot of space, but you have a lot of people. And so this is basically how the game works. You say, okay, ladies, you're at a pure romance party, and here we're going to talk a lot about penises and vaginas. So we want you to be comfortable saying those words. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you three minutes, and in those three minutes, I want you to come up with as many movie titles or television titles that you can think of where you can take one of the words in the title and switch it to penis or vagina and make it fun and, and fabulous. 
and still make sense, okay? So it has to be at least two words. So an example would be instead of 101 Dalmatians, 101 vaginas. And instead of goodwill hunting, maybe good penis hunting, okay? Gives you some good ideas. Ready, set, three minutes, go. And then they go ahead and write that down, and there's a bunch of laughing. People will say, oh, I can't think of anything. Remind them to think of Disney or what's on TV now or what was on TV years ago when they were growing up. And it's fun. It's simple. They just read off the list as a group or individually. Everybody laughs, and you move forward, and you go on. It's not an introduction game, so you're not using people's names, but it is super, super funny. If you don't have a group of people doing it and you just are doing it individually, go ahead and have them introduce themselves when they start reading off their lists. I hope you have lots of fun. Remember, playing games at your parties is important, but you want to be strategic with it. So I like to play one game that has nothing to do with products in the beginning and then a couple of product games and a booking game and a recruiting game as well. Have fun. If you have any questions, let me know.